Hey guys, it's Amy, your golf coach. I am back in the Greenside Bunker with the Greenside Bunker series. Today I have this lead foot highlight. I'm going to show you how to get out of here with these and get it close to the flag. We're playing golf at Sand Canyon Country Club. All right, the most common fault I see in this lie is to get that club digging into the sand too much, losing speed so the ball stays in the bunker. Or even if you get out, it barely gets out and you're super short of the flag. Or another mistake I see is to rock back because of the slope, scull it right into the bank and never gets out of the bunker. So I always talk about this. In short game, setup is half the battle, okay? If you get the setup correct, you will have higher chances of getting out of the bunker and, you know, less chances of making kind of an embarrassment out of yourself. All right, so let's get started. Since we talked about how it's easy to leave this bunker shot short, I have switched to my 52 degrees. My normal bunker shots, I use my 58 sand wedge, but I have a gap wedge right now. Just give it a little bit more loft so it'll carry a little bit more with less effort. 52 degrees. Now the setup, I'm going to stand a little bit narrower because in this lie, the balance is crucial. A little bit narrow, weight in the left about 70%, so a little bit extra than a normal bunker shot. I'm gonna leave it there during the back swing because the low side is in the back that way. If I transfer the weight ever so slightly in the back swing, it'll pull me back and you'll end up with a fat or a skull shot. So you really need to anchor on the left foot, especially on this shot. Okay, open stance, narrow stance, ball position, left to the middle. Since you're anchoring extra on this side, the ball has to be more forward in your stance. If it's in the back, now you probably rock back to try and make contact with that back ball position, okay? So left to the middle, we don't want to completely square up the face here because the leading edge can dig in really hard. So let's go ahead and open the face slightly about to 1230, which is a lot less than a regular bunker shot. But this allows me to use the bounce and get the club moving through the sand a little bit better than as if it was super square. So a little bit open, choke down. And then two things you have to remember here. You can never help up out of here because this sand resistance is stronger because of the slope. So you have to remember to swing fully, really aggressive swing into it. Number two is remember to hit really down into your spot about a ball behind the golf ball, okay? So aggressive swing, hit down into it rather than worrying about helping it up and finishing your swing, two things. So super aggressive, watch this. Whew. So when you're in a lie where that lead foot is a lot higher, remember the stance becomes more narrow, ball position is left, weight is on the left about 70%. Maintain that during the swing. And then two things during the swing. You have to swing aggressive fully and also you have to hit down at it. Oh, and don't forget to grip up at least one extra club. So if you're in this lie, I know it sounds like a lot of things, but write it down. Do those over and over. Eventually, you'll get to this setup automatically without thinking about those details. So let's get to that point. Thank you guys for golfing with me. If you have any questions, please come over to Ask Amy section. Leave your questions and comments there. I'll see you guys in the next one. Mwah.